Let's begin by discussing what takes place at fertilization. Human development involves the differentiation and proliferation of the cell types that make up the different organ systems of the body. After fertilization, the tremendous prenatal development that takes place involves the maturation and functionality of these body systems. The discipline of embryology is the study of the development of the embryo from the time of fertilization through the fetal stage. Fertilization leads to ovum activation. The goal of each spermatozoa is to find an ovum and begin the process of fertilization. Fertilization or conception is the point of fusion between two gametes. Inside the fallopian tube, the spermatozoa and ovum meet. Next, the spermatozoa binds to the extracellular matrix surrounding the ovum, known as the zona pellucida. Next, the acrosome reaction takes place, in which the spermatozoa and ovum plasma membranes fuse together. This leads to an activation of the ovum, which causes its plasma membrane to block fusion with another spermatozoa. This ensures typically that one spermatozoa fertilization per ovum takes place. Eugenesis, or the formation of a female gamete, occurs during follicular development. Eugenesis is the formation of an ovum or egg, and this takes place in the ovarian follicle. The process begins with a primary follicle and eventually leads to the release of an ovum during ovulation. Eugenesis begins very early in females, and the primary follicles are formed during prenatal development of the female. The follicles then remain in prophase 1 of meiosis 1 until one by one they complete their development each menstrual cycle during adult life. Let's continue with the stages of follicular development. The second stage of follicular development takes place during the menstrual cycle. Granulosa cells grow and develop and eventually form a layer surrounding the oocyte in the pre-ovulatory stage. In the third and final stage of follicular development, a single graphene follicle is surrounded with antral fluid. Approximately in the middle of the menstrual cycle, the pressure inside the follicle increases with proteolytic digestion of the outside wall, the ovum is released into the peritoneal cavity. The corpus luteum is formed during the luteal phase of the menstrual cycle. This occurs after ovulation. The corpus luteum secretes estrogen and progesterone, and if fertilized egg implants in the uterus, this hormone production will continue. 